we're going to have a look at another single response question type, a Likert scale. Now I said here a three or a five point scale. I've actually put a four point scale on my screen because I wanted it to fit. So I've got very important through to very unimportant. And I have four items. And then my question is, how important are the following when considering where to live? Now, even though these are in a grid, it's actually four separate questions. I've got questions one to four, how important is cost, how important is the distance, how important is the distance to work, how important is that you feel safe. Those are four separate questions, which means there'll be four separate variables. And because they all have the same responses, I want to give them all the same codes. So one for very important, two for important, three for unimportant, and four for very unimportant. Let's look at how we might enter this data. I've always got my participant ID column on the far left, and here I have my four variables about cost, the distance to union work, and then safety. And I've got my codes there labeled on the bottom. So here's some example uh, data entry from participants. I want to replace those entries with my codes, and now I can enter them into SPSS. So let's have a look at how we might put these into SPSS. I'm just going to do the first variable, cost, because the all four would be identical. So let's give it a name. Again, I don't need any decimal places. And the question is, how important is cost? Okay, a good tip when you're doing a questionnaire is make your variable name very short and to the point, and then put a more elaborate description in the label. Now this is categorical as well, it's a scaled response. Um, so I need to type in my numerical codes, my value labels for those codes. So one was very important. Two is important. Now, like I mentioned, you could have five point and in between here, you could have put undecided or I don't know, but I've just done four so it fits better onto my PowerPoint slide. Go ahead and click OK. And now we need to do the measure. Is it nominal, ordinal, or scale? Well, we know it's categorical, so it's definitely ordinal or nominal. And because my responses do have a meaningful order, it's a level of importance. It should be ordinal. Again, I'm going to leave my input as it is. Let's go to the data view. I'm going to take off my labels for the moment and put in the cost. So one, three, one, three, four. I'm going to put back my labels. I can make this a bit bigger if I want so I can see it properly. Um, so that's how you enter data uh, for a single response question. One is not a Likert scale and one is a Likert type scale.